our guest, Assistant Disaster Coordinator, Antia Earl Hendrickson, and Planning Officer, Orika Lennon Petty, are here to remind us of the essential items that we need to have in our home, even before a storm is on its, on its way. Good morning, ladies. Welcome to Good Morning SKN. Good, Good morning. morning. Thank you. You're welcome. So we'll dive right into it. So we are in the month of July, past June, safe. Tell us some of the essentials that we should already have in our possession or put on our checklist. So we actually don't say hurricane checklist. We actually say disaster preparedness checklist because okay. these are items that you will need in the event of any impact of any hazards. Okay. So we encourage persons to have on hand a stock of non-perishable food items and we encourage them to have it for at least 72 hours based on the size of the family. Okay. One gallon of water per person per day. So, for example, four of us are here. If four of us were in a household, you would need one gallon per person per day. And we encourage for the same three days or 72 hours. You would also need um, something to store just in case, especially if you're diabetic, for example, you know that one of the first things that goes is power. Yes, so we encourage does. those who are diabetic that they have um, any chronic diseases that require medication. We encourage that they have a backup stock of their prescription medication. Mm -hmm. We also encourage if you're diabetic, for example, those medications, you know, they need refrigeration. Yep, they do. And so if the power goes and you do not have a generator, we encourage that you have um, maybe a cooler yes. that you can place these items in with ice so that they can remain, um, you know, they can remain viable. We also encourage that you have like emergency power supply, like flashlight or a lamp. But if you have a lamp, however, make sure you do not go to sleep with it on because that's a fire hazard right there. And you keep it away from anything that can catch fire and the same with candles. So flashlights are preferable, but however, you know, some persons prefer the lamp. Yes. So if uh, they use lamp or candles, we encourage that they pay close attention to them, do not go to sleep with them on yes. because we do not want a double hazard we see no, a lot of hazards exactly. right <laughs> okay so along with that of course you need backup batteries for your flashlights you also need a transistor radio or a battery powered radio if power goes you may not be able to watch television so you you need something that you can keep abreast of what's going on we also encourage that you have the basic hand tools because you'd never know what you may need to quickly repair or after you may need to clear something, so yes. you know you match it, a hammer, maybe some nails. Maybe you have to, you know, quickly nail down <laughs> yes, something. something yes. We encourage you to have tape, even plastic sheeting. Okay. Um, that that can be used to create emergency shelter for you within your home. If, if for example, it's during a hurricane, your roof goes off, you have nowhere else to evacuate because it's in the mix of the storm, going outside may be dangerous. You know, we say, you know, shelter is in your bathtub, but you may not be able to use maybe a shower curtain so yes. you have something that you could you know cover and protect yourself as much as possible there are some other items as well that you can have and you as of course you cater it to your family needs if you yes. have a baby for example you make sure that you have a stock of baby food diapers and what's not if you have special dietary needs you make sure that you have those items that cater to your dietary needs so you cater it to your personal yes. family needs okay all right, I have to say, that is an extensive checklist, yes. and yeah. obviously because it's disaster preparedness as opposed mm -hmm. to hurricane preparedness, yes. there is no set time for you to have all these things in place because disaster can strike at any time, no. basically. <laughs> Correct? Yes. Okay, so my question to you is this, and listening to you and realizing that it is an extensive checklist, which means that the dollars are going to go up because yeah. if you don't have these things in place, in mm -hmm. order for you to get them, you either need to accumulate them over a period of time or you need to find some other way of getting them. Does uh, the government, through you, or organizations that you partner with, uh, allow you to give people things that they might need, for instance, perishable food items, non-perishable food items, or tools, or a hammer, or even batteries? Is there any provision for distribution of those items at any point in time? Or is that something that you would like to see done? <laughs> well, something, of course, that we would like for us to be able to do, but unfortunately, to say, um, personal budgets are limited, our budgets are also limited. But what would happen, for example, after an impact, we, of course, have um, some resources that will be able to assist persons. We also have a welfare relief supply and shelter management national disaster subcommittee. 
So they are responsible actually for assisting persons after an impact that may need help. So, you know, social services is responsible for welfare all year round. So during an impact of a hazard, they are also responsible for making sure that persons who are affected get the assistance they need as well. All right, good to know. Collaboration is very important. Yes. So Althea, what about a family plan? What are some of the important things to add to the plan and should there be drills? We at NEMA encourage persons to make sure that they have a go bag. We call it a go bag. Okay. So in that go bag, we expect the families to have the insurance paper because you don't want if something happens, you lose that paper mm -hmm. because that is an important document. Yes, it is. So we have asked persons to have a go bag. So that go bag must consist of the medic your medication because there are some persons who are vulnerable, you have the vulnerable persons during the hurricane or even after some of the pharmacies don't be open. But if you prepare and you have that go bag with the medication, you have the insurance paper, you have even the dry goods, that is why we encourage persons to every month you buy even a one tuna or one sign, yes. those things that can put up to save you in the event of a hurricane and also to cut down the cost. Okay, so you've answered my question <laughs> as well. Yes. Yeah. Um, I have a question. So we have not had hurricanes, but we've been preparing. Yes, we yeah. are. So what if now we hear a storm coming and we do not prepare because we are, I'm sure there are persons that are like, oh, I don't want to prepare sense. because yeah, they say yeah. it's coming, it, it didn't come this time. How does one deal with that when they don't prepare? Or as Miss Hendrickson said, you buy a tuna a month, this a month. How does one deal with that? Well, we always try to encourage, our, well, let me say discourage complacency. Okay. Because it only takes one storm to impact us, to devastate us. Okay. I can share a story with you. I unfortunately experienced Irma and Maria in St. Thomas. Okay. And, um, you know, there were direct impacts for the USBI. Yeah. We had a neighbor and we were preparing. The neighbor was telling us, you know, oh, it's not going to come. Blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. The last hurricane that impacted us was, um, I think it was something with an M. I don't remember the name. Okay. So then after now, she was scrambling. Yeah. And so I always like to point that out to persons that, okay. from my personal experience, you do not know if it's going to impact. Weather is dynamic. We can say that rain is going to fall today and it, it won't fall. Yes. Just like the same thing, a hurricane can shift. It can either shift away from us or it can shift and come directly over us. And so I would say it's better to be prepared than mm. to, be, to be unprepared because you do not know what would happen. The items that you purchase for your disaster preparedness kit, like the tuna, the non-perishable items, you can always use them and replace them. Yes. That's what I said. You just recycle. So you, this month you buy tuna and whatever else. You realize the expiration date is coming. You use those and you just replace them. Mm -hmm. And as Antia said, you buy bit by bit because, you mm -hmm. know, persons are financially strapped, especially yes, yes. right now. So mm -hmm. we don't expect you to be able to buy everything one time. Yes. That's why we encourage it throughout the year. Disaster preparedness is a year-round thing, not just for the hurricane seasons. Mm -hmm. That way, you know, you pay close attention. You give yourself enough time to prepare. Yes. You don't just prepare when the hurricane season is upon us. Yeah. We have a lot of things here, so we like yeah, to we have them. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as I mentioned before, you have um, water and this is only one bottle, but of course you cater it to your family needs. One gallon per person per day, at least for three days. Three days. Okay. You, I'm assuming, doing away. We need a bucket. To store water as well? You could use it to store water, to bail out water if your house flooded. Okay. It could be multi-use. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. Too, yes, definitely. Yeah. And, and carry things, because I noticed the hammer was in here. Yes. And <laughs> I think the tarp was in there as well. Yeah, yeah multi-use. Mm -hmm. Of course. <laughs> A raincoat, of course, because you don't know when you, you may need to venture outside. You're not going to want to use an umbrella to go outside. Not at all. If well, on normal conditions, your umbrella blow away, imagine in a storm, what would happen, right? Yeah, exactly, that's true. Okay, so then your non-perishable food item, as Antio mentioned. We have the corn beef, which we call it corn meal. Mm -hmm. We have the sardine. Mm -hmm. And we have the tuna. Of course. These are things that you could buy each month to make sure that you have stock. And uh, this is the hammer that Awika was speaking about, but for me, <laughs> I would make sure I encourage persons to have a hammer in their homes, uh -huh. so in the event that they would have to go and check before to make sure that the galvanized or well named off 
you need a hammer. Yeah, for sure. And the tape, we have encouraged persons to get the tape because, you know, sometimes when the wind blowing, you know, water, even though you have sealed, you know, yes. the water would come through. So okay. this can be in use of a seal of okay. the tape. Okay. And we have a cooler that could be used before the storm, maybe a few hours before the storm. You could have some ice inside of it in order, or in order to preserve some of the things that you have because if you don't have a generator, then you know you'll be out of electricity. Yeah. So we ask you to try and just make some sort of preparations to make sure that you have something there for at least two days. Mm -hmm. And this is a jar for the gasoline. You make sure that you have even a half, at least something, in the event that no gas station is open and you might need to go to the hospital. So we ask you to make sure you prepare. But as you say that as well, when I think of gasoline, well, a couple of things came to mind. Let me start with the gasoline. Obviously, you might be stuck in, but you should be able to cook as well. So perhaps cooking gas is equally important to have. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yes. Also, when I looked at that, and this is a joke on me because in my house, I have uh, those electronic oh. can openers. No, you need a manual. Uh, precisely, and I think that's an important point. <laughs> yes. Because yes. if you have things like this that you need to open and you don't have electricity, mm -hmm. definitely manual too. But we can use the old time style of having a knife. Oh, that's fine. Mine ought to do that as well. well so you're you're skilled skilled enough. Enough. <laughs> Once you're skilled enough to do that, yeah. we can come to have a manual can opener. We don't uh -huh. want you to cut your hand by accident yeah. if you're not used to that. <laughs> Yeah, we also encourage you to have things like gloves, heavy duty gloves for okay. cleanup after as well as preparations before. For example, if you need to trim any trees um, that surround your house that may become um, potential missiles, mm -hmm. you also make sure that anything laying around your house, tires, um, you know, sometimes you have things in your yard yeah. where you don't actually think about the fact that wind can actually take Lift them up. Oh. I've seen wind tumble containers, party yes. containers before. So imagine what they can do with the little things that are yeah, yes. So you make sure that you secure those. Of course, safety goggles, because safety comes first. We're in a COVID-19 pandemic, so we encourage persons to have a stock of masks on hand, along with the mask, dust masks, of course, because you want to protect your respiratory yes. system. And the tap. So, and as well, flashlight and the radio. Okay. We also mentioned, and to mention that you need a go bag. So yes. you see how you can just take up that bag and you can so go. For... Take it up and go, right? Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. So anything that you may need to um, survive for the next three days, and we can unpack it because there are actually a lot of things in here. Is we a cell have phone a in here? Poncho. Well, my cell phone is in my bag, <laughs> but a cell phone charger is in there. Yeah. Okay, fair And as well but as a battery I'd... pack. So. Okay, good. It'll those work, are, yeah. Believe it or not, those pack. are essential because you might be yeah. cut off from yeah. people and you need yeah. to communicate to them. Your whereabouts, etc. Yeah, one cell phone service is up. Yeah, assuming that it is. Yeah. Yeah. Assuming that it's up. So we also have a utility knife, a multi-purpose knife. Okay. So that's also useful. You want to unpack the bag? You can okay, thank you. I can. So mask. Wow, that bag is ready. And to go. This is actually hand shampoo. Soap. This hand is hand soap. Okay. Hmm. So important. Even it's healthy. Through a pandemic. Wow. Yeah. I feel like it's Christmas, guys. I'm unpacking, getting gifts here. <laughs> and these are not for me, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> They're pampers well, in case you have Well, if you're a female that menstruates, mm. you know, you make sure that you have, have your, your pads, products, your yeah. sanitary products. Did you hear what I said? I said these are pampers. <laughs> so clearly I have no concept. Well, that's no, no. I <laughs> You also make sure you have your toiletries, you know, your soap, yep. your toothpaste, your mouthwash, yeah. your medication, your, medication, your prescription yes. medication. This is going to... Yeah, and your hand sanitizer. Mm -hmm. I have a small bottle of hand sanitizer. And I love this, by the way. Yeah. I'm oh, still yeah. going through the bag, but I, <laughs> I really do love this. Yeah, so we encourage persons also, you know, have a little entertainment, even in your house, because mental health is very important. Yes. You know, sometimes you're stressed, you need something to distract yourself. Mm -hmm. So if, for example, I'm an avid reader, so I would Aww. create, I would have a book in my go bag. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, if you like games or something, yeah, non-electronic. You with your games. You know, you yeah. walk yeah. with something that would okay. distract you, especially if you have children. Well, that's true as well. <laughs> I've played, I've played those old games with my family during hurricanes, and yeah, they, they were the kind of games that involve you remembering people and describing them <laughs> in ways that you wouldn't tell them in public. Here we go. <laughs> So yes, yeah, so Very we important. encourage that you have your important mm -hmm. documents and most importantly you have them in something that is waterproof because you don't know if your bag or your items in your house will get yeah. wet. We encourage persons to have a first aid kit in yeah. the go bag as well as in your home. 
So you want to have both. One in your home and one that you can that's that's already in your And that's because if you are rushing out of there, you yeah. might not have time to look for something. Yeah. No, that's why we encourage people to have to go back. Yes. And what about this? Oh, so that's a blanket. a blanket. So you can either have a blanket or a sleeping bag. Potential if you have to evacuate, you may need something comfortable to lay on. Oh, really? Yeah, yes. that's why I gave it to Cortensia. <laughs> Okay, so there's my flashlight. Yes, yes. there's and my battery. Nice. And your batteries. Yes. And I also have my charger, which is very important. Although solar chargers might be a thing that we could use as well. Yeah, mm. this is actually a solar powered um, radio. Oh, great. Oh, great. Yeah, great. so it great. works with both. Yeah. Wow. So. And your not towel, to forget yeah. your towel. If you're going to an emergency shelter, for example, you may need a towel. Definitely. Okay. You can even use yeah. it as a cover as well if it gets too cool along That's with the blanket. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> He looks yeah, like what? Blanket. Listen, anything, I will be using that, so we're fine. <laughs> That's fine. All right, so we want to thank you for stopping by today. Just a final word again. We were talking briefly, and I'm, I'm eking out some time here to do this, but in the event of an emergency, you really do need to know who the shelters are. You were saying, Anthony, the district yes. managers, You need to know where your shelters are. You need to know which district you're in, so mm -hmm. at least you make sure, familiarize yourself with the district manager, so in the event that there is a hurricane and we are impacted, you must know who the person is that you make the contact with. Awesome. Mm. And actually, Antia is actually arranging an event for Saturday. Oh, the yeah. hurricane? Yeah, the yes. hurricane. Uh, <laughs> oh, the hurricane. Okay, yes, yeah. we talked about that. Great. Awesome. Yeah.